Good morning and welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what you're looking at there is the same Jewel Thief circuit that I've been working with in the last few videos, except that I've made some changes. Um, it's a 2222, 2N2222 metal can transistor. And instead of the base resistor, I've got this little 10K trim pot in there. And I went back to this uh, toroid, which is a one-to-one -one toroid wound with uh, by filer 14 turns. Two of them are connected together in the middle, and then there's your other two outputs. So it's wired just exactly like a like the standard Jewel Thief. Center where the two coils join is connected to, or will be connected when I hook this up, connected to the battery positive. One end is connected to the collector of the transistor. The other end is connected to the base resistance and then to the base of the transistor. And then here I have two banks of LEDs. These are There's 11 LEDs there and 11 LEDs there. The 11s are in, all of these are in series. All of these are in series, and then the two banks of 11 are in parallel. And then to make the connection between the transistor and the LEDs, I've also used a couple of LEDs. So these are in series, these are in series, the two rows are in parallel, and then all of the, that is in series with, the, with these two uh, LEDs that connect to the emitter and the collector of the transistor. Okay, so it's the same Jewel, Jewel Thief circuit. Instead of one LED, I've got this 24 LED series parallel arrangements. Instead of the 220 ohm resistor, I've got a 10K trim pot in there. And then instead of the coil with different turn windings, I've got a just a one toroid, 14 turns, both windings together, same one to one. All right. And uh, here's my little battery bank over here. This is the battery supply. Those are the wires that will power the Jewel Thief. And here's a little El Cheapo multimeter. So those are both pretty dead batteries. I've got them in there in series, okay? Uh, and uh, I've got the voltmeter here set to the 200 millivolt position. And so let's see what the batteries read. Uh, let's see, if I go across both of them. Uh, both batteries. It's like I said, they're pretty dead. So that's 2.1 volts with both batteries in series. And then if I just do the one battery here, that is right exactly at one volt or a thousand millivolts. Okay. All that is good. All right. So now let's go back to, uh, let's take this off and let's go to um, the current reading. So let's go to DC. Let's start with the 200 milliamp DC current, and uh, let's see, what do, we, what do we want to do here? Let's take the positive lead off of there, and hook, the, hook one of the ammeter leads to that, and then the other ammeter lead goes over here. Okay, so now we've got the two batteries in series and uh, the ammeter. So now let's plug it in. Okay, I think you can see that all of those LEDs are glowing just as brightly as can be. We've got kind of a high current drain, 81 milliamps. Alright, so that's what the base resistor here is for. So let's see if we can reduce that 
So if I turn it the wrong direction, we saturate the transistor and get way high current drain. But if I go the other way, towards increasing resistance, I can get that current drain down pretty low before you start getting visible dimming in the LEDs. And that's actually all the way towards the 10K side right now. I can't get it any further down. So with 10K of base resistance, this one-to-one -one toroid, we're drawing about 23 milliamps from a 2-volt source. So what is that? Around 40 milliwatts. And we've got 24 LEDs lighting pretty bright. Okay, so what happens if I just use one battery? So to use just the just one battery, uh, what do I want to do? Let's see here. Let's go to the, go to here, right? Let's take this off and just go over to here. Okay, so now we're just on the one battery and uh, 10, 10 milliamps, 11 milliamps. The LEDs are still on, They're not real bright. So let's make a, an adjustment here. Let's see if I can get them any brighter. Oh yeah. So I can still get them to, to get the transistor to saturate and stop switching because all the all of the voltage is going through the base leg now, all the current rather. And then uh, here, see there, that's base current. But then just off that base current I can get again really nice and bright LEDs and remember that one battery is less than one volt or one volt or less. So 33 milliamps, 34 milliamps it's showing negative because I got the leads backwards. But that's alright. All right. But then to get I can get way down if I go to the full 10K of resistance, I still have the LEDs glowing. I got about 10 milliamps and less than one volt input power. And 24 LEDs glowing. But I, I like them to be brighter, so let's turn it up to just below that. Let's get about 30 milliamps in there. Normally 30 milliamps at a volt and a half or two volts would be one LED to reasonable brightness. Okay, well here we got 24. We're running on one battery. Oh, and the multimeter has about almost two ohms of resistance too when you run it as a... 1.8 was the measured internal resistance of this multimeter when you run it as an ammeter. Thanks for watching.